So in this video, we're going to learn about scenarios, how to create new scenarios and also manage them. And then within scenarios, create items. And within items, we'll talk about how we can select different types of data and then set up actions and conditions. So you'll see in the scenario browser that we already have some templatized scenarios, just as an example. So this is an example scenario, um, looking at excluding data. And this is the item associated with that scenario. So what we can do is select the data in which we want to manipulate. So this is the facilities table. We will then have an action. So this action is going to say set records in that table to exclude. So the column um, status will be set to the value exclude. And then we also want a condition here as well. So the condition is going to be only exclude these records where the facility name equals Detroit DC. So this example item and scenario is testing what happens if we don't renew the contract for the Detroit DC and we no longer have it in our network. So we're gonna create a new scenario. I'm gonna call that scenario El Baggio to DC is unconstrained. And if we go and look at our data, we can see that our flow constraints define that only 3.5 million units of product are able to be flowed between El Baggio factory and the distribution centers. And in this scenario, we want to be able to remove that constraint. So to do that, we'll select or we'll create a new item and we'll call that item remove flow constraints. And then within that item, what we can do is we can select the table. So we'll select flow constraints and then we'll select the action. Now, this is firstly going to select a column and we have IntelliType and IntelliType is really important because firstly, it helps us understand um, and quickly reference the tables and uh, the columns in that table. So here we can select status and we can auto complete and then we can set that to exclude. And that's a valid syntax. Um, syntax is important. If we use double quotes, then that's actually invalid. And IntelliType will highlight that very clearly to us. Also, if we were to enter an invalid column name, for example, IntelliType would also highlight that as well. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to reuse this item because um, we actually want to remove the Detroit DC. So I can very easily go in and just rename in line. So I'm going to call this no Detroit DC. So the template is now more specific to my model. And I'm also going to go in and rename this to no Detroit DC. So very often scenarios are made up of multiple items. And in my no Detroit DC scenario, I also want to consider not having any flow constraints. So what we can do is we can very easily add that in. If I select the item itself, then in the assignments panel, I can see that currently it's only assigned to this particular scenario. And I could very easily assign it to the no Detroit DC scenario. Likewise, if I click on a scenario, then we can see the items and which ones are and aren't assigned to particular that particular scenario. We can, of course, also delete scenarios. So I don't want this example scenario anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete it. And when I delete the scenario, if there are any items that only exist within that scenario, they won't be deleted. We'll leave those as unassigned, as it's possible that you might want to use those for other scenarios going forward. So finally, I want to create a new scenario. I'm going to call this customer demand increase. And this scenario, I want it to represent everything. I want it to represent having no flow constraints, Detroit DC being closed, and also an increment in demand of um, 10%. So I could select the new scenario and I could go and include each of those items, but we can also see it in a matrix view. So we can see that these are our items down the left-hand side and each of the columns are the scenarios. As this gets busier, there's a nice search criteria and I can very easily go in and select all three items to be associated with that scenario. And now we can see that when we run that scenario, it will consider everything. So now we have all of our scenarios set up, we can simply click the run button. And this pops up as a modal, so anywhere we are in the software, we can immediately get to running our scenarios. We can select particular scenarios to run, or we can select them all. 
obviously one of the real differentiators here is that these will all run in parallel. These are hyperscale. We can select the resource size that we want to run it on. So we can pick some very, very big machines if the model requires it. And then we can also select which engine that we want to run, whether we're running the optimization, our Neo engine, or whether we're running discrete event simulation, which is Throg. And whichever engine we decide to run, risk engine will always run on the back of both optimization and discrete event simulation. So we'll get a risk score. So now we're good to go. We can go and click start and that will go and spin up all of those scenarios. And if we go across to our run manager and we can see that all of those scenarios are now running in parallel. And once all of those scenarios have completed and they've all run, we can jump straight back into Cosmic Frog and we can go and look at our output data tables. So if we come down the bottom here, we'll now see that we have a full set of results. We can go into network optimization. This will start to give us a summary of things like total supply chain costs, demand that's been serviced, how those costs break down. And then we can also get into all the detail in terms of how products flowed around the network, how it's been produced, the bill of materials. We also have a set of template dashboards which are available in every new model. So we can very quickly jump in and we can start to see the differences between, let's say, the baseline um, and not having the Detroit DC, which reduces in cost. Um, so you can go and watch the video on using dashboards, building dashboards, editing these templates.